One of the most controversial ballot issues in state history was back before a judge today. News Channel 5's Jonquil Newland was there. And Jonquil, why this big debate? Well, Roy, today a judge heard arguments on a measure that gives lawmakers the power to regulate abortions. It was voted on and passed back in November of 2014. But plaintiffs in this lawsuit argue that election should be thrown out. You may remember the campaign ads. If you want to double your vote, don't vote in the governor's race. But the battle over an abortion amendment, which passed two years ago, is far from over. In truth, only families can make these decisions. The measure gives lawmakers more power to restrict abortions. In November 2014, the amendment passed with 53 percent of the vote. But plaintiffs who filed a lawsuit against the state want a recount. What they were trying to do was to lower the number of people who voted for governor um, in order so that a smaller number of votes would be needed to reach a major, majority. Each side was given an hour to argue its case. Plaintiffs argued the state's method for counting the votes in that election violates the federal constitution and that supporters of Amendment 1 manipulated the outcome by advertising and encouraging voters to not vote in the governor's race but vote for Amendment 1. Nearly 33,000 ballots were cast in favor of Amendment 1. Those voters did not cast a ballot in the gubernatorial race. Their facts dismissed by citizens like June Griffin, who filed a motion to intervene in the case. Not as a concern out of, for abortion particularly, but out of concern that the voters right not be overturned. The state, however, argued the votes were not diluted, and the state has operated this way since the 1830s. The state also said the plaintiff's case was based on speculation, and there were other reasons why voters decided not to vote for governor. But plaintiff Ellen Clayton disagrees, saying voters' constitutional rights were violated. Both under the Tennessee Constitution and also under the federal Constitution because it dilutes our vote. Now, the judge did not make a ruling after the hearing today, and it could be some time before that happens. Back to you.